Hi there, my name is Seth. I go by MA Texpo on the Hunting Beast forum. I'm excited to be sharing my 2018 season uh, as a vlog and video journal and also a written journal. Um, I'm doing this for a couple reasons. One, I really like to try new things and learn new things. And this is my first season trying to film and capture uh, my hunting on video equipment. I'm really excited to do that and I'm excited to learn and get some feedback from folks that are willing uh, about my progress and what I'm learning. So uh, I'm going to be compiling videos of scouting and preparation and ultimately hunting of the 2018 season and I'm going to be noting along the way what I'm learning, how I'm learning it, and different things that I'm picking up about using video equipment. In this video, I'm going to be uh, sharing a scouting trip that I took uh, on January 8th of this year. So if you have any thoughts, feedback, things you would change or improve, please feel free to share uh, in the comments. I'd love to read them and have a conversation about ways I can improve. Classical Radio Boston is 99.5 WCRB, WCRB HD1 Lowell Boston, also on WGBH HD2 Boston. Day one of 2018 season, scouting a new spot out on a river. Not far, probably see those houses over there. Just in a river bottom. Pretty sure this would be covered in water by early season. But there's some rut sign. If the water recedes, which it did last year. <sighs> Beautiful. Getting to an island here. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but I don't. Learned something about it. It's got this kind of cracky bark. It's got some moss growing on it. I see this a lot out here. One of my projects for 2018 is to figure out these trees. I really don't know much about trees out here in Massachusetts. Um, I know enough to know an oak and the difference between a red oak and a white oak, but that's about it. Found a neighbor. At least a neighbor's spot. I can see how you would set up here. I haven't seen as much sign. This might be it. This might be the reason why. You know, it's sort of hit or miss with other guys' stands. Sometimes find them and there's sign everywhere. Sometimes, like today, I'm just totally confused about why I'm not seeing the sign I would expect. And I see that. That shit pisses me off. Definitely not allowed, especially here. I don't know if you can tell he's still got his Damn bow hook up there. <sighs> that annoys me. Here we go. Uh, it's a good one. Probably the last year, not this most recent year. <laughs> oh, we've got Pines all the way up this. That is a big buck, y'all. Uh oh. Somebody knows that this buck is out here. Oh. Another permanent one. Public land. I'm 
gonna bet that this guy is either seen this deer, seen those rubs, or he's got a camera out here and he's got a picture. Still figuring this camera shit out, but he's got a great view up here. But he's seen a lot of deer. I'm gonna climb up here and see what we can see. Probably a gun hunter. Maybe the same guy. shot to that path. I'm willing to bet he parks in the same spot I parked. Oh. Woo. It's tired. I noticed in this video that I would like to do differently the next time around. One, have another camera. I only use my GoPro. It has its obvious disadvantages. I think number one being the audio. We're gonna keep on this one, I think. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about that yet, but I hope to have um, better quality audio moving forward. I think that's a huge minus of the action cams. Um, another thing that I'd like to change about this video is that I didn't have enough still shots, um, which again I think would help having another camera. Just setting up the actual environment uh, of where I'm at I think would go a long way to helping the audience come into the place. Well thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, I look forward to reading your comments and thoughts about ways I can improve and I'm excited to share more of the 2018 season as it goes on. Thanks.